Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and we are back again with Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls for what I am hoping is the final episode of this wonderful, wonderful series. So last time, we finally made our way to the top of the Toa Hills Tower and kind of had our confrontation with Monica. We had a little short boss battle with her and she ended up handing over the controller to the Monokumas rather quickly. She very much seemed wanting of us to break the controller, and that screamed all sorts of fishy, so we did not break the controller. And then Koto sh showed up, she was like, don't break the controller, and Monica's like, yeah, don't break the controller, and so it was like, yeah, you're not gonna break the controller. And then Haiji showed up, and he's like, break the fucking controller, and the other people were like, don't break the controller, we're like, nah, we're not, we're not gonna break the controller. <laughs> Everything and all went on and on and on and on and on until Monica revealed to us, you know, everything that we'd already kind of found out. Um, the Toa group helped manufacture the Monokumas. They ended up learning that they were the ones responsible for, you know, the despair and all that. And so then they worked with Junko and the ultimate despair and all that in order to kind of play both sides by manufacturing weapons to fight the Monokumas at the same time as producing the Monokumas and all that. And as a result, they were kind of left out at the incident a bit. And so that's why they've been able to, like, you know, um, flourish. Uh, on top of that, all the adults that are currently alive in the city were purposely chosen not to have kids and be the ones to survive. So it would be all, you know, weird and suspicious. And Monica wanted us to break the remote so that the helmets would all explode on the kids' heads and it would look like the adults just slaughtered all the children into in the city. And so, you know, Future Foundation would come in guns blazing and everything. But we stopped that. Um, Big Bang Monokuma miraculously came to life and tried to break the controller. And apparently Shirakuma was the one piloting that. But we destroyed it. The controller is safe, Shirokuma fell off the top of the building, the big big Monokuma is dead, the adults have no hope, the children are all alive, and everything is good and we're off to save Abia. So, let's continue. The changing world we made. Epilogue. <sighs> Hopefully finale. <laughs> Ooh, anime again. Yay! Somebody save Monica. Uh, Looky uh, there. You're awake? Oh, of you course. Were lucky. You would surely have perished if I wasn't there to save you. Why bother? Why? I changed my mind and decided to stay in this town a while longer. And while I'm here, <clears throat> I figured I should see this through to the very end. That's not what I meant. Oh, you mean why I saved you? Yeah, clearly. Because kind of awful. I'm the same as you. I'm disappointed with endings that waver between despair and hope. I wish a real war had started. If it did, I know a brilliant hope would have been born. That is why I allowed myself to be captured after all. So you did it on purpose? Clearly. But you Cleverer won't finish than you. It, right? <laughs> Nothing has really changed since you began. So, I need you to continue working hard, so that a splendid hope may be born. You have tasted the bitter despair of having your meticulous plan fall apart around you, so I know you can do it. Really? Which side are you on? Does it even matter? Anyway, why don't you be the successor for now? If that is your intention, I will lend you a hand. If my schedule allows it, of course. Hmm. There is somewhere I need to be later. What do you mean? I shall raise you to be her copy. One even more realistic than the real one. Someone like me, who both hates and loves her more than anyone else. Okay, I that's really creepy. More like her than even she herself was. Right? That's super creepy, man. And that is a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Are they still at it with that 
success or whatever. Apparently. You're talking too loud. They'll hear you. They can hear all they fucking want. A bunch of chumps teaming up together makes them suck even more. Is somebody pushing well, you? When you think about it, the plan was flawed from the beginning. Trying to create a successor while the original still exists? What? I know this was kind of my idea, but kids sure are stupid idiots. Are you guys talking Not about the copy? Not just the kids. The adults are idiots too. Just by causing a little unrest, just pushing them a teeny bit, I had them spinning around in the palms of my hands. I died a little inside. <laughs> inside even if the outside's white the inside's pitch black you a rice ball or something i may be wicked but you are too after all we are no not we maybe i or maybe it's me oh god <laughs> well they're pretty much the same white despair black hope in the end, neither one. But I guess that works too. I mean, I didn't really give a damn about this town from the beginning. The oh my god. I still take an interest in this place will yield a much more fruitful harvest. Hey, Who's pushing don't you think so? Personally, I think they did a pretty good job for a group of kids. Hey, hey, don't you think so? Thanks to them, the preparations are nearly complete. Laying the foundations for the final match. It's so despairingly perfect. Hey, 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 don't you- Ah! Oh, you're so forceful. What, what? Am I being too noisy for ya? I see. I didn't know you still felt such emotions. Or perhaps, you're forcing yourself to feel something in a situation like this. Well, not that it matters. Anyway, I leave the rest to you. Though I'm sure the next time I see you, you'll be someone else entirely. Is I hope you can that... at least have a little fun. I hope the future is going to be one you can't predict. Hajime? Has to be Hajime. Makoto! I was waiting to hear from you. Yay, I've missed you. I'm so relieved. I'm glad you're safe, Biakuya. I have become the Bia! Well, safe <laughs> enough, I suppose. Are you outside Toa City? You must be if this connection is secure, right? Yeah. I used the secret passageway under the shrine. But was was he never in the room? <laughs> Captives are safe. Thanks to the relative of that idiot we know so well. I'll introduce you to her later. She's much more talented and useful than he is. What's your Accurate. position? <laughs> I'll send rescue right away. Before you do, there's something you need to know. Huh? Komaru Nayagi and Toko Fukawa are not with me. Not with you? Why? They've been trying so hard I'll to save her. I'll explain. Her? She asked that I send you this message. It might be garbled a bit, but it'll do. Oh wait, is this after we saved him? Um, it is, isn't it? Can you see me, Makoto? You're surprised that I'm not leaving, right? Sorry for making you worry. There's a lot I want to say. But first, let me explain why I'm not there. Bia! Rescuing the princess. He looks so depressed. Or is he just bored? All this time, you were bawling about how you wanted to go home. Oh, come on! I was not bawling! Don't make things up! Jeez! Just open his door! Do you have anything to say on this, Bia? No? Cool as a cucumber? <laughs> Why? Why are you bringing up something like that? Do you feel responsible for their revenge? Slightly? But that wasn't your fault. You can't feel bad about that, not even a little. No, but I kind of made myself a self-appointed hero, so... No, that's not it. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. This is my decision. 
Then why are you doing this? Didn't you want to get out of this place and live a normal, peaceful life? Oh, uh, we're way past that. <laughs> now you want to stay here? That's like the complete opposite. You're right. You... It's not because you feel despair. No, no. Uh, of course not. I don't want to get slapped again. Please don't slap. Why? The slap of hope. Even I'm not totally sure. You just want to help people. But earlier, when I said how I want to save both, all the scary feelings and hesitation I've felt <laughs> were gone. Even though the odds were against us, for some reason, I felt courage. I think it's because I was confident that that was what I needed to do. She found her purpose in life, Toko. But what would happen if I leave this town with you and Byakuya? What would happen if Future Foundation came here to suppress the riot and uncover the secret? And then what would happen if the remnants of hope were to find this place? It would turn into a war. Just like Monica said. S so you're saying you're going to be this town's hostage in place of master? I guess so. <laughs> Until now, I kept relying on you. And I never really got to make decisions on my own. But I was like that even before I met you. I used to give up all the time. But the decision to save everyone was one I made on my own. Of course, I'm scared and I'm worried. But despite that, I've made up my mind. I won't give up until the very end. I'll make sure I protect both. Well, at least she's decisive now. Idiot. You're awfully optimistic after all this. He is probably like, you guys just coming to walk this already? <laughs> Seriously, what are you thinking? You're just like your brother sometimes. Well, no. we wouldn't be a good protagonist without I that. I think I got it from you. Huh? Me? Um, you were with me all this time. If I have changed, it's thanks to you, it's Toko. Your influence, Toko. Well, I guess Toko is a bit more decisive than us, so. Only slightly, though. She's still just a teeny bit indecisive at times. For now, I'm going to be fine. This is much better than imprisoned life, regardless. Yeah, I get to run around and do whatever the hell I so want. Don't worry about me. Go back with Byakuya. You two are the only ones who can persuade Future Foundation not to interfere here. S so please, don't be mad. What? Of course I'm mad! Jeez. Why do I have to stay behind in a town like this? I... Oh, no, Wait, what? You misunderstood. I meant I'm the one who's gonna stay here. If you're going to stay, there's no way I can leave. We're two of a kind. I decided We're a pair. to be with you too, remember? Yes. Do you really think some brother complex girl like you can be master's substitute? Oh, never, but you can stay by my side and I will gladly accept you. In a hostage you. trade, you and I are barely enough for one, Master Byakuya. Come, Toko, leap into my arms! So, I'll stay with you. That's the decision I made? No complaining. Hugger. <laughs> you said you wanted to go home with Byakuya. Well, the time's changed, <laughs> I don't so. need your concern. Master Hucker. and I are rock solid. Even if we're apart, our feelings towards each other will never change. Love and loathing. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Finally speaks up. Master Byakuya! Open the damn door! It's true what you said. Even if we're apart, my feelings of disgust toward <laughs> you will never change. Master? Spent too t much time in your fantasy? So the reason I've decided to stay isn't because someone forced me to. It's a choice I made myself. But I know that I can't just expect things to change right away. Just because I'm staying. I know that I can't become real hope. Like you. So, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the day you guys defeat the remnants of despair. And come home safe. Uh, but... You don't have to rush or anything, okay? I'll wait until the day you come to pick me up. I have the gun Mr. Byakuya gave me. And I have my reliable friend Toko. And about mom and dad, I can't I be sure. find anything. Bruh. I went to the torture room later, but it was empty. It was a lie! The girl forced me to watch must have been recorded earlier. 
or fake. That means there's a chance they're alive and well somewhere. Ultra Despair right. Girls too. Maybe even somewhere in this city. That's what I choose to be. Okay, sorry, this video is getting pretty long. I guess I should wrap it up. The yeah, next time you just see about. Me, I might be so grown up you don't even recognize me. He'll always recognize you. You're his just sister. Like how surprised I was when I saw you. He looks the same. See you later, Makoto. So that's the situation. I thought all your sister was good for was cowering in fear. But there you have it. She has Bia's respect! My god! Seriously. Well, she surprised me before. With hey, what? Makoto, you know what we have to do, right? We have to stop this idiotic war and return here to retrieve them. Of course, we all. want to betray their expectations. <laughs> Bia living up to expectations. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Actually staying loyal to friends. Oh, I love it. I've made up my mind, Byakuya. If a situation like this ever happens again, no matter how dangerous the trap, I'm jumping right in so I can end it properly with my own two hands. Hearing you say that reminds me of what you said back at the Academy. Huh? Hope keeps going, huh? Aw, he smiles! Uh, I'll partner with you for just a little while. <laughs> At least until I've repaid the debt I owe to Toko and your sister. Dude, you're always our partner. You're a buddy yeah. cop. <laughs> buddy cops for life! <laughs> huh? In credit? In credit! My freaking goodness! What a game. <laughs> like, okay. So, have to say, love the story, love the plot. I feel like they could have balanced it a bit more with the gameplay, though. Because it felt like I wasn't really doing much for the giant chunks of dialogue that were going on with the plot and all that, like, before, you know, when we were playing the main Danganronpa game, um, like, there were always clues and stuff being hidden in the words, there was always stuff for you to pick up on, and that's why it mattered when you were reading the text. This was just kind of telling the story, there wasn't anything for us to really, you know, investigate or figure out, it was just sort of a more basic shooter game and it's fun don't get me wrong it was fun but it gets repetitive a lot of the time and that's why i'm not the biggest fan of shooters because it's more of a task based thing than it is like figuring stuff out i don't know like we had a lot of you know puzzles and mind games and stuff but the, i don't feel like there's always as much to talk about with them but with this i think it was it was good it was pretty decent i enjoyed everything like, plot was good, gameplay was good, it was fun trying to figure out the puzzles even if I failed and got very annoyed by them at some point. Like the damn musical Monokuma children things and the Beast Monokumas. God, I hate the Beast Monokumas. I'm still not entirely sure I figured out how to properly kill them. Uh, well, let's see, what else? Did we even get... I don't think we got all of the, um, one at posters. Cause, let's see, we got one for, what do you think? We got one for Sakura, we got one for Celeste, um, Yamada, Leon, um, Makoto, of course. Kyoko, we know heroes, we know Chihiros, um, Penis. We are still, m we got Takas as well. I don't think we got one for Bia or who else am I thinking of? I'm trying to remember all of our characters from the first game. We didn't get one for Bia. We didn't get one for Toko. I wonder if they even had any though. Um. We didn't get one for Mondo. Mondo didn't get one. 
Or I didn't get one from Mondo, I should say. He probably had one, I just never got it. Um, who else? I think we got most of them, that's what counts. Oh, is that new? I don't think I saw that one before. Oh look, it's Chitara doesn't... Wait, are they... No, no. Wait, yes, okay, wait, these are different things. Does that mean they're alive? then what what now hey you are ready yet still no new clothes Don't shout so early in the morning what are we doing You're not really a morning person are you are you secretly staying up late without me thanks to your jimmy legs and snoring i can't get a good night's sleep i am so not snoring. wait are we sleeping in the same bed still but it's true, I might toss and turn while I'm asleep. And it wasn't just snoring. You were talking in your sleep, saying, Makoto! Liar. <laughs> lies! Definitely lies! And if you want to get a good night's sleep, why don't you go sleep in your own bed? Yeah, there you go. In the hotel, there's plenty of other <laughs> rooms. So don't be an idiot. What happens if a ghost shows up? Now we believe in oh, ghosts. So you're into occult stuff now. <laughs> Hero will be happy to know. Well, you really did get possessed, right? So ghosts do exist, right? Well, well yeah. <laughs> I guess that's just one more thing you're afraid of now. It's all your fault. Come on, let's go. If we don't keep a watchful eye, these people are going to start fighting again. No time to slack off. What? But you're the one who woke up late. You're the one dilly dallying. Let's go. Hey! I told you to wait! Aw, come on, Toki! I won't call her Toki. And off they go to protect the city from evil! Ah! <laughs> Manomi. Is that it for real now? Back to the main menu with us? You can now read the spin-off novel, Ultra Despair or Hagakure. You can now make use of the bonus mode where you can view CGs and listen to BGMs. By loading the cleared save data with the star, you can check them out. Thanks for playing. Well, that was fun. All right. Um, so, this is where we're ending it now, I suppose. Finally reached a true end game with this. Um, okay, but yeah, okay, so with those final CGs, we got, um, Haiji sitting amongst the freaking adults just destroying and tearing apart Monokuma's, looking particularly dark and evil and everything. Very kind of gritty, um, so he's still leading the adults, still bad guy, still... So. Not great. Then we had the Warriors of Hope, and it looked like they were all beaten up and everything, but I think that's supposed to mean that they're still alive, because the thing with Haiji, I'm pretty sure that's not something we saw in-game, so I'm pretty sure that's after. And then you have them, and Chitara's missing his mask and all of that, and they're just all together and beaten up. So that's great. They're all still alive. There's still hope for them to become better people. And then we, you know, see Monica, and that's definitely, you know... That's after the game's in it, because you have her with her hair like Junko's. Nagi probably pinned it up for her and everything. And she's getting to work on whatever she plans to do. So there's that. And, yeah, okay, so, fingers crossed, Ultra Despair Girls 2, Road to the Parents, 
coming into theaters near you soon. I, I don't know. I just really... I want to find out what happens to the parents. I feel like there's more that could be told with their story. Um, we have Dengan Rumpa Volume 3, which I'm um, going to be playing. So... Well, that doesn't, that's not supposed to connect with this game, though, is it? It's supposed to be its own kind of standalone thing, I think. So, yeah, we're going to have to wait for any further developments with the Nagy family, but, you know, that'll be something to look forward to. Also, holy crap, the Shirokuma Kurokuma thing. Like, that, that broke my heart a little, I have to admit. I thought there was going to be some explanation as to why Shirokuma sacrificed or, you know, tried to destroy things and did all of that. And then it just turns out that that's where the Junko AI was. I knew I couldn't trust him. <laughs> oh, my feelings were so hurt, though, when it was confirmed. Like, that just broke my heart a little because I gave in. I gave in and I was all like, he's my buddy. And then I get the despair. God dang it. I trusted him. Oh, I thought it was just some magical fluke like Monomi, but Monomi was made. She wasn't, she wasn't a magical fluke. Oh, that just, that hurts, man. <laughs> Uh, and it's good to see Byakuya, you know, acknowledging his buddy cop status and everything, and I don't know, it, it felt like a particularly high note to end on, and I feel like there's still a lot more that they can do with it. But, as of now, that is it for Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. And, uh, we'll be playing something else soon enough, so, you know, until then, like and subscribe if you guys want to. Thank you for watching.